Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today let's talk about serger or overlock thread. It is designed a little bit different than regular sewing thread. After all, we're using three, four, five spools of thread when we are doing our serging and overlocking. So it is designed a little bit different. And today I'm going to be using Mettler's Seracore as an example of this thread. The thread is designed with a very strong center. And then the fibers are spun around that strong center. The thread does have a little bit more of a movement to it. I can't say it's an elastic thread, but it does bend so that it goes around the seams very easily without breaking. It's also designed so that the thread is going to lay flat. Because we have a lot of thread, we are going to have a big buildup. So it's important that the thread lays flat so that it doesn't build up bulk as we're going along. So the thread has that movement to go around the seams, but it also lays flat when all of those seams are done. Now it can be done with any type of serging or overlocking. It can be used for a rolled hem, it can be used a cover stitch, it can be used for elastic, it can be used for anything that we are going to use a cover stitch for or an overlock stitch. The thread is a 50 weight, however, it's a little bit different than a regular 50 weight. It's actually a little bit thinner than a regular 50 weight. This thread right here is an all-purpose 50 weight thread. When we look at the 50 weight serger thread, you can see that it's slightly smaller. That thinness is also going to be handy when we are using it on the serger. We do have a lot of thread it's important that it bends to the curves and it lays flat. And having a 50 weight thinner thread definitely helps that. This is a heavy wool and that thread has not even been pressed yet. And you can see how flat that seam is. From both sides, it looks nice, but it is good and strong and that's what we're wanting when we are doing serging or overlocking. It's not that we can't use a regular thread for the serger, but you can definitely see the difference where that 50 weight thinner thread is a lot nicer for a lot of thread than the heavier one. Now the Seracore thread does come in two different size spools. The smaller spools have a thousand meters and these large spools have 2,500 meters. The larger spools come in 50 different colors and the smaller ones come in 36 colors. So there really are a lot of colors that we can choose from. The serger thread definitely has an extra bonus to it. Because it is thin, strong and lays flat. A lot of quilters love it for the long arm machines or our sit down machines, especially when they come in these great big spools. So I have this beautiful red on my sit down Q20. and Let me show you how beautiful it quilts up. So I'm at my Q20. I have nothing special set up. I do have that Seracore on the top and in the bobbin. And I'm just going to do some quilting and you'll be able to see how beautiful it does look. I can do some big stitches. And I can do some micro quilting. So this would be a medium sized stitching. I have that big stitching and we have those small stitches. You can really see how flat this thread is. 
it really does blend right into that fabric. And from the back, it also lays really flat. And this was a red thread on that white fabric. And you can still see how nice and flat it is. There's no shine to it, so it really does have a nice finish. So the Saracor thread does have that beautiful cotton finish, soft feel to it. The thread is 100% polyester, so it does not shrink. There's no shine. It blends into the fabric well, which, of course, makes it great for quilting. I use polyester thread for a lot of different projects. I love the way that it looks. I like it that it doesn't have a lot of lint. And I definitely like it when it comes in big spools and I can use it for many different projects. I'll put a link in the description so you can check out the Mettler Saracore thread. And as always, thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're talking about next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.